Hello, everyone, and welcome to Miss Valley Entertainment News. My name is Dread. Well, what are we doing here? We're talking about the channel anniversary because I can't celebrate an anniversary of this channel without including you. Um, as you can see, new achievement. Hooray, it's your channel's birthday. You've come so far. Just imagine where you and your community will be next year. Keep doing you. So as of August 30th, 2024, this channel is one year old. I can't believe it has happened quite quickly. Um, currently, before this video, we have 199 videos on the channel. Putting out 200 videos in just slightly over a year. Not too shabby, considering I don't have an actual release schedule. And I've got other YouTube channels and, uh, and a Discord and a full-time job. So, hey. But you know what? This is all about this channel. And like I say, I, I can't do this channel without you. You are the lifeblood of this channel. You are the reason I do this channel. I mean, I could do this channel without anybody listening. And at times on YouTube, you have you have days where it feels like that. But uh, quite honestly, people, I, I want to apply to you and thank all of you for uh, tuning into the channel, watching the video, subscribing to the channel, uh, being at all interested in what I have to say. I, I never dreamed as a guy who just uh, did some uh, some gaming videos on some other channels that people would want to hear my opinions on gaming news and other entertainment news, mainly gaming news, let's be honest. Um, honestly, never, never would have dreamed people want to listen to what I have to say and, and react to that comment back and just have discussions about these things. That, that is amazing. And I, I deeply and humbly thank all of you. I thought we'd do something fun here on uh, video number 200, celebrating the, uh, the anniversary of the channel and, uh, take a look at analytics because I haven't really never looked at analytics for this channel that I could remember. So I thought we'd just take a quick look and see what the what YouTube says about you and about the channel and about me, I guess. So let's uh let's find out. So, so the analytics tab here. By the way, 450 subscribers. Thank you all so so much. I really, really do appreciate it. That's amazing. Uh for me, it is not about um jumping in and it's sort of, how do I express myself here? <laughs> words, words, dread. Uh, for me, it, it's not about the numbers per se, which is why I don't fool around the analytics. I, I used to look at them all the time back in the day, years ago. Drive yourself crazy that way. Um, I don't do YouTube to get numbers, but at the same time, I do want people to see what I do and respond to it and hopefully enjoy it. Absolutely. I want to entertain. That's why it's an entertainment news channel. Um, I desperately want to entertain people. I find that enjoyable and I find it great when I can have back and forth with people. If you haven't signed up for Miss Valley Discord, I encourage you to do so because you people are great at responding to my videos and I'd love to have interactions with you over there as well. All my videos get posted to my Discord channel. The link is down below in the description as always. And uh, you know what? I'm always open to having conversations there. There's only a few people who really get involved there, but a lot of people come there just to find all my videos because they all get posted there. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly say, before we move on to the analytics, that um, I don't, I quite honestly don't do this for the money. And that's good because I can't make a living off it. That's why I have a full-time job. But um, I, had a, I have another channel that I have one of my three channels that is monetized. It's been monetized for several years, like, three years or something like that, two or three years. And YouTube does owe me money. I have never collected that money from them. Um, I'm quite proud of that right now. I can't promise you that'll always be that way. I mean, if I end up with 100,000 subscribers and I'm making good money from YouTube, I will probably go and collect it. But for right now, I'm quite happy not collecting money and be able to say, I do not do this for the money. I'm not chasing the money in this. This is just something I do out of my own passion. Let's move on. Analytics. So my channel got 1,781 views in the last 28 days. I don't know why they look at it in 28 days. I guess four weeks is easier than doing 30 or 31 days. That's fine. So, um, so basically 1.8 thousand views in the last month, 
which, as YouTube says, is 819 less than usual. So usually our typical is 2.6 thousand to 7 thousand in a month. Man, that's really good, people. I mean, considering there's 450 of us subscribers here, us, I, who's my, I'm my own subscriber. I watch my own videos. I do. Uh, <laughs> considering there's 450 subscribers, if I'm averaging, I mean, even if I'm putting out on average maybe two or three videos a week, let's just say three. Uh, I can't do numbers well, but I mean, there's a lot more of you than just the subscribers here who a lot of times will turn in and watch videos, which is exciting. I like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so this kind of goes up and down. See, the beginning of August, we had kind of a spike here. 221 people, excuse me, watched that one day. That kind of thing. And now we're up into September. We had the September 2nd, 179 people tuned in to watch. Pretty cool stuff. I like watch, looking at these kind of things on occasion. Uh, watch time, 130.3 hours, which is, we're down about a third. It's fine. The ebbs and flows, man. Ebbs and flows. Uh, you know what? During the summertime, people are busy doing outdoor activities, going on vacations, all that stuff. Um, so watch time, 130 hours. The average uh, month, we get 160 to 670 hours of watch time. All right, and so we so plus five plus five subscribers in the last month. Are yeah, okay. So we we usually get probably about what I don't know what that is. But we probably usually get about nine subscribers in a month. So it's it slowed down a little bit for the last month. Not not an issue, not a problem. Okay, so this will kind of show you uh, you know different peaks and valleys and stuff and. Subscribers here, we we actually like lost one here and lost one there, and that's okay. Whether people do that on purpose or YouTube does it, it just happens. Uh, I caught co top content in the last month, uh, eleven hundred and sixty views to How Star Wars Outlaws Butt YouTube reviews. I am proud of that video because, like I say, I was uh, kind of on that early. I felt like I could have almost broken that story if I hadn't been a little bit lazy. Um, so I'm kind of proud of that one. I'm proud of my, my eyes were open and I was seeing what was going on. And uh, as quickly as my lazy ass could do, I got a video out and people responded. That's good. So as you see, the average view duration, uh, people watch like four minutes, enough to go, okay, that's what happened. And they clicked off. That, that's, it is what it is. Uh, my recent video calling out lying YouTube game reviewers. Um, we got 119 views. That's still pretty good considering that one's only been out for a couple of days. So there you go. Again, 313, uh, 3 minutes, 13 seconds views. And people watched a little over a third of it on average. Uh, Starfield Rover. I mean, Starfield videos always do well. This one did not do as well. I, I don't know why, but it just didn't. But that's fine. Um, again, it's only been out a little over a week and a week and a half or so. Uh, views here, 92. People watched it, though, for 832. So, you know what? People love Starfield and Skyrim videos. Those are my ones that hit the most, quite honestly. And, you know, if I wanted to chase views, I could sit here and do nothing but uh, but videos ripping those games apart, but uh, probably not a good, oh, not ripping apart Skyrim, but, you know. Anyways. Uh, my Dustborn is a mess. Got 52 views in, like, four days, three days. You'll watch it for 1014, so they were quite interested in that one. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I got all kinds of other stuff here, you know. As I see, I'm, I'm looking at the, you know, the percentages of the average views and stuff. They're not bad. I mean, they go down as far as 16%, 14%. They go up as high as, like, 36%. That's, I'm happy with that stuff. Quite happy. So yeah, um, what else can I tell you, people? Let's take a look at content here. Let's see what the content uh, tab tells us. So here's our views again. Here's our impressions. So how many times your video thumbnails were shown to viewers? So that's only impressions on YouTube, not on any other sites. So YouTube showed my video thumbnails to people 56,500 roughly times over the month, which is down 52% less than normal. So because I was getting less interaction this last month, YouTube also showed my thumbnails to people less, which YouTube throws your thumbnails to less people, you're going to get less reactions. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. 
uh, impressions click through. So 2.2% of people who saw my thumbnail went and clicked on it. And their average view duration was four and a half minutes. Cool. cool. So people, how, how long did they on average, you know, still watching at 30 seconds? Um, Starfield, 70% of them were. So, you know, I'm getting pretty decent numbers for people who didn't click off immediately. And that's that's good. It's not like immediately people saw my face and my voice and hated me. So that's nice to know. <laughs> uh, here's my audience. What is, what is, who is my audience? Why my audience is you, of course. And I get to meet you through your comments and your interactions on the channel. That's great. But this is YouTube's attempt to tell me about people who watch uh, my videos. So returning videos, uh, 134 returning viewers, sorry, 134, which is less than previous month. So not as many of you who maybe you have watched previous videos showed up in the last month to watch them. Maybe you were busy. I don't know. Uh, in the last month, I had 1.4 thousand unique viewers, which again is down over the last month. And subscribers again, we knew about that. So this is a uh, blue is new viewers and pink or purple there is returning viewers. As you can see, I've got a lot of new viewers and I encourage people, if you're a new viewer to the channel, hey, jump in, get involved in conversations, just be polite and respectful. Um, by all means, um, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. Uh, we'd love to have you stick around. So in the last month we had, uh, I think it says 11, oh, what, what? Oh, this is the different times. So it's showing you like, hey, we, we had 65 new viewers on August 6th. That's pretty good. Why is that? What was on August 6th? What came out on August 6th? Uh, that was right after Star Wars Outlaw bought YouTube reviews. That's why. So people, new people showed up for that, which is kind of exciting. Um, yeah, let's talk about like inspiration. Uh, what people are looking for. New videos to inspire you. Yeah, none of that's very interesting. Anyways, that's kind of just a look at uh, what YouTube says about my audience, what YouTube says about you. YouTube doesn't really know you any more than it knows me. It's just an AI program or AI run program of uh, mathematical equations and numbers and figures. But um, yeah, what can I tell you? Uh, let me tell you just a quick couple of words about me before I get out of here. Like my name is Dredd. Yes, yes, I changed my name at one point as an adult. I did. No, my family's not happy about it. But you know who is happy about it? This guy. And that's what matters. Um, yes, I changed my entire name. I also changed my last name and got rid of my middle name. Um, and I did that for various reasons, but I needed a change in life. And let me tell you, if you want to change in life, changing, legally changing your name is definitely a way to make a change in life. It, uh, it becomes a huge change in life. It really, really does. And um, you would not believe the way it affects things. But it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I, I work in the, and I'm keeping it vague, I work in the gaming industry, but not in the video gaming industry. Um, I also work in the entertainment industry. And I won't leave it, uh, I'll leave it very vague because I don't want my employers snooping around what I do online. I don't want to be linked to my employers in any way. My channels and my Discord is about me and my content and my viewers and my friends on the internet here. Um, it's not about my work. My work is what I do for a living. I've done it for the last 21 years. I'm in my early 50s now. I've been gaming since I was a, well, you know what? I've been gaming since I was about 16. Probably. So well, born in 71. Uh, I probably started gaming at about 87, 88. I did a little bit before that in the old ColecoVision consoles. Hook up to your television, you know. Um, I'm an old school gamer. I've never been really very involved in gaming with other people. I know for the younger generations, that is a thing they grew up with. I did not. So I really do tend to stick to single player games. I have uh, jumped on some servers before and uh, gamed with some people. I uh, used to game Scum a whole lot. Uh, very involved in that game for, oh, probably a year and a half. Uh, dropped out of that after a while. But um, I've also had my own gaming server for Scum. Nobody, nobody showed up. It was, I just got rid of it. It was a waste of time and money. Um, 
people people don't really want to game with me because I am mainly a solo gamer. And you know, although I talk a lot of my videos when I'm gaming, I don't I don't really talk a lot, so I'm not all that engaging. And I'm again, I'm not a great gamer. You put me in a shooter, you put me in a scary game, you put me in a an action oriented combat game where you got to learn combos, you know, souls like games, all those things. I'll play an occasional one for a little bit, but I'm terrible at them. I do not have good reflexes and reactions. I've never had those, so it's not an age thing. Although maybe it's getting worse now. I don't know. Uh, I enjoy my single player games, as as you can tell. Look, I've got a couple other channels. I've got Miss Valley Gaming, which is my main channel. We start. I started that up uh, quite honestly uh, during COVID. Uh, I was shut down, sitting at home for too long and uh, decided uh, to do that. So I did, jumped right into it, and I've learned a lot since then. Really enjoyed it. Miss Valley Gaming is still going strong. We've got over 1,400 subscribers, uh, followers, if you will. If you will. Um, it's a great place. If you haven't checked it out, maybe you want to go check it out. Uh, I do videos and all kinds of things there, uh, different gaming series, Let's Play stuff. I do live streams as well. Um, not nearly every weekend, but I try to get in every every Saturday. Uh, morning my time uh, over the Pacific Pacific time zone. I am over on the West Coast. Nowhere near the ocean, though. Um, and, and I get in and I, I live stream something on Saturdays uh, if I have the chance to. As well as Miss Valley Gaming, I've got about two years ago, I branched off. I was doing a lot of Skyrim gaming on Miss Valley Gaming, and I decided to launch that into its own channel. So I watched what at the time was Miss Valley Skyrim. We're just putting out my Skyrim videos, and we get a butt ton of Skyrim videos out there including my own mod lists and my own modding stuff. I uh, love doing modding on Skyrim. I uh, love playing the game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, eventually, I realized it was uh, slowing down a little bit, and I changed the name of the uh, channel to Miss Valley Mods. So it's about modded gameplay, so I can add other games into there. I, I have hope to add in Fallout 4 modded to that channel. I haven't done it yet. I've never actually played Fallout 4 or any Fallout game, so that'll be fun, I think. And uh, I'm planning on doing some modded cyberpunk probably in the next month or two, adding it to that channel as well. And I'm currently working on creating, once again, my own Skyrim mod list of probably probably roughly around 12, 12 to 1300 mods. Um, it's a slow process because I've been very, very busy and you need to get it right. And as I've said, uh, that's going to be my last Skyrim mod list I ever do because Bethesda is interested only in taking your money and making sure that any mods they get money for. So in the end, they are going to kill the modding community, unfortunately. Um, and I've got Miss Valley Discord, of course, which I've already talked about a little bit. Post all my videos there. Talk a lot about what I'm watching you know, on videos or what I'm, what I'm finding in music. I might talk about entertainment news stuff that I don't have time to do a full video of. And we're going to leave it right there, people. Uh, that's a little bit about me. Oh, by the way, I am, ladies, I am single. Not not looking for any relationship, thank you. I'm in my 50s. I'm stubborn. I'm set in my ways. I just, I'm not looking for anything. But just in case you want to know, ladies, you're wondering, is Dread single? Yeah, yeah, I am. And everybody, thank you all so much for helping make this first year in the channel great. Trent says hello. And uh, I appreciate you all so much because any success this channel has, and it is successful in my eyes, hopefully in yours as well. It comes from you, the viewer. So I do humbly thank you. Look forward to a great, another great year with you, and we'll see you on the next video. From Miss Valley Entertainment News, my name is Dredd. Thank you all so much. See you next time.